The contract is complete. The fairies are transferring the money. Great. Let's listen to our favorite song. Alright, I'm back. It's me. It's me, baby. It's Turbo Selbor. Back on the live stream. Uh, gotta, gotta boost the... Wow. Okay. There we go. So it's time. It's time for more uh, Space Rangers 2. A game that I am not winning. But that's fine. Because now I have this diplomatic ship and everything's fine. Alright. Property not on ship. I got some minerals at Ranger Center Ruby. And what system am I in? Let's find it out. It's been it's been a week, so I'm in Avor, and uh, everything's on Planet Sigem. Planet Smidgem. There we go. It's still exploring there. And what have I got in my hold? It's like all oh, it's all coming back to me here. I got my black guck, so I basically have unlimited fuel. So this is gonna work out great. All right. Um, let's, uh, well, that's going. I'm gonna just swing around here. See where we're at. Well, hello. Do you have any missions for me? No. Can I buy a star map? I don't have money for that. Uh, this music is so good in this game. Alright. Let's go. I got 42 in the, the hold. We can do this. I'm just gonna hoover up minerals and sell them, trying to improve my stuff for the the coming battles. They currently only control 42% of the galaxy, and by they I mean the Dominator. So I think I can I can make this happen. I just I need to I need to upgrade my stuff. Oh yeah, here we go. This is the music right here. This is the Space Rangers 2 music that everyone remembers. Love it. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's probably maybe pulling back the veil a little bit, but I only play this game uh let's see yeah, in anarchic industry. I only play this game uh during the live stream, so <laughs> it's uh, I'm trying to do that so I pace myself cuz I don't want to I don't want to burn out, but man, I love it. It's such a great game. It's just like I wish that they had a mobile version that wasn't a money grab. There is a mobile version on Android, but it is super monetized to the point that it's annoying. All right, sell. Got any missions for me? Nope, can I buy a star map? 300 credits, sure, later then. Uh, I don't have the money for repairs. Why is everything like damaged so much? Okay, so now I have a new star map. So if we open this up, we can see the sheet system. I can't even get there. Damn. All right. Well, um, let's go to Sigem. I need a water probe. And I don't have, like, a lot of mountain skills here. Let's see what we got. Everything's been researched. Booze! Yeah, and a gun. Apparently we can't uh, can't handle it. Can I use this gun? I sure can. That's some good stuff. It's fairly big, but it does so much damage, and it's in a critical state. So I'll probably just sell it. This is my problem, right? Is I think uh, I think I'm actually in a pretty good position. I don't think I can sell. I bet you the palings will, will buy booze. The trouble is, is like I don't remember what planets ban what, because they all have laws about what you can and can't sell. What's going on? We got an alert. The Capella system will soon be free. Uh, can I see Capella? I wouldn't mind uh, assisting. 
Yes, I will. I will assist the invasion of Capella. All right, let's see here. First of all, gotta sell what we sell. Yeah. What will it cost to repair this gun? It'll cost a lot to repair this gun, but I can sell it for 800, so I'll do that. And I'll repair all those. I've got like oodles of fuel. Can I buy a, a better gun? Octone Radar. Here's my problem is like, I want a better engine because I think that's gonna serve me more than anything else. 1600 mm, I don't know I just I don't know let's uh, let's, let's, let's just jump out here ups a doodle uh oh is that a pirate are you engaged in piracy what are you doing I need money and you are gonna give it to me Fine. Man, I love how all the traders are like, kill that, kill that dude. When is the system gonna be liberated? Cause I would like to liberate Capella. All right. Well, whatever. We're gonna go to Sigem, and I'm probably gonna have to remove my probes. I like this idea. I'm coming in. Let's get him. Hit him. in serious trouble yet he's trying to land on that planet kill him oh I'm like running out of uh, hole that's not good let's uh, let's repair what we got What can I buy here? Better droids, which is good. Do you need that? What I need is like a better gun. A missile thrower. That actually might be super useful. I don't think I can I can do much else than be a missile lobbing guy. Let's go to Sigem. Are we attacking Capella yet? Not yet. Capella is on the list though. That pirate, he's gonna get killed, and rightly so. Cause you know, fuck him. Can't stand those pirates, man. So you got a fuel tank, we got booze. Minus three, huh? That's a big fuel tank. And I can't really use it because, yeah. So let's just launch up. It's windy. A lot of plains, mountains. Let's go to Barkag. And actually, while we're there, I'm going to sell booze on this Paling planet. I'm like debating do I want the missile thrower? Well, what I really would be ideal is a missile thrower and engines. You know, that would be, that would be the, the ideal. What do we got here? We've got engines. Can't get better engines at this point. I uh, I need I need the droid. Having these extra equipment things is really useful. I don't really have a lot of guns. Uh, we should repair these. These probes are like making most of my money. Um, 
And the nice thing is with Black Guck, I'll never get stranded. Like, this probably doesn't make sense to people who haven't played this game before, but, like, basically, there is a non zero chance that at some point I'm going to be fighting the Dominators and I'm going to run out of fuel and I'll, like, push too deep in and they'll, like, conquer all the stuff. And so, like, when that happens. I need a source of fuel to get back to civilization, and it's really helpful to have Black Guck, because Black Guck is, of course, a magic fuel generator. So 13 days before that's done, I would like to leave the research probes there. Okay. I will go to the anarchist planet. Um, no, actually, we're going to go to Capella. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Going to Capella, military operation, gonna see the robots. Actually, so let's find out if it's Blazer, Tarragon, or uh, Keller. I really hope it's Blazer. Pretty sure it's gonna be Blazer. Because Blazer's the one that I would rather fight. You know, just in general. There's reasons. There's reasons why you'd want to not fight anything else. Okay, there we go. Military operation underway. What just got blowed up? Okay, there's battleships. So I'm going in. I'm going in. Controlled by dominators, landing impossible. Here we go. Incoming. Wow, he does so much more damage than me. Oh, shoot. They are... Yeah, that military operation just totally got hit. Also, uh, that's Keller, so that's bad. All right, uh, go to Avoir. Go, go, go. I may die. I have to bail. Goodbye, everyone. I lived just barely. Holy crap. Uh, no. Ah, uh, wow, that, that invasion just completely failed. That's incredible. All right, well, let's go to, wait. Well, let's go over here, because I think that's where I have my equipment. Yeah, let's go to Barkag. I need a better probe. I need a probe that can probe water. Do, 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 do. What do we got? Oh yeah, food. Wait. That's useless at this time. Reductional fuel tank. Actually, that might be useful. So I have a 28. And this is a 26. So it's slightly smaller and it has a higher capacity. Okay. So we'll leave those probes there. I don't have... I'm, I'm just hauling stuff from this planet to another planet, basically. Actually, don't sell food on the agricultural planet. That's stupid. Sell food on the mixed democracy planet. I need a better engine, though. Uh. People say that I'm a merchant, but I'm not the only one. I think I am the only one. All right, uh, wow, that actually sold pretty good. Repair all my stuff, which has been severely damaged. Adds power charges to fragment cartridges. I, I don't have the capacity, I'm just gonna sell it. Can I buy a better engine here? Let's see what we got. I, 30, and then this is 24, so I would lose some capacity. I'll have a better fuel tank. 
Octone radar. What is what is our 19? It's hard to beat that compact. I would like a better shield generator. Tracking droid. What's that? 272 versus 251. That's a diplomat hull, but it doesn't have a spot for a gripper, which we just went through. We just went through this with the uh, the last one, so I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Let's go to Barkag. It's gonna take me two weeks to get there anyway. systems I'm like getting better but I am not I am not a war fighter <laughs> this is unusual I usually am a little bit more of a war fighter they're liberating planets which is good I don't know how they're doing it because at this difficulty they usually run into a lot of trouble but I don't know ooh guns okay so I'm taking the fuel tank I don't really have much use for this. Wow, there's a lot of food on this planet. Okay, so I'm definitely swapping out fuel tanks. I could barely sell this for anything, but... Yeah, leave them there. Now, I know I can sell guns on an anarchist uh, Malloc planet. <laughs> you can sell guns fucking you're not allowed to do it just anywhere but hey is that a human I see yes it is all right so I can sell these which is good wow they have no limitations on what you can buy and sell here it's awesome all right uh, I'm gonna sell this fuel tank I'm gonna repair these you got a better engine for me or a better hole. This is the hole that would do it. The Predator. Oh, it's so good. None of these are good. Uh, everything's so cool and good. I would like that gripper. There's all this really nice stuff that I would like to have. So here's a fragment cannon at 35. So what have I got? I got a 21 and I got a 17. But they do so much more damage. Ah, okay. This is like the saddest part of this game is knowing that you uh, really struggle. <laughs> the struggle is real. <laughs> I almost want to deal drugs, but that's on that's its own problems. Okay. I cannot lift this droid off of this planet. My ship isn't big enough. All right. I will be back for my probes. All right, let's just get this, and then I'm gonna need, I need a better ship, ultimately. I mean, that's gonna be like forever, the whole thing I'm gonna talk about this whole time, is I'm gonna need a better ship. But like, come on. All right, let's sell some food. 3,000, that's pretty good. Like, that's almost enough. Do you have like a cheap version of that hole? That's what I want. That's a transport hole. Gravicore hole transport. Mesostructural hole. This is the one. The ranger holes. So the thing with the different types of ships, rangers have like every slot, basically. They have the maximum number of slots, but they tend to be like, they're, they're like all rounders, basically. Ugh, Dingus Khan, what are you gonna do? What are you doing with your life? When are you gonna live your life right? I need to get back to Seoul. Um, or sorry, the sun. Okay, up we go. I got money at least. What's my, uh, what's my ranger rating right now? 
41. I am no longer the worst stranger. That's cool. Uh, I'm better than uh, Kumcha Khan. Oh, look at Kumcha Khan. Or K Kukma Khan? Oh, no. Outstanding traitor is uh, Gerhard. Let's see. He's probably up top. Oh, he's a magnate. I don't know what a magnate is. Some people, they ne I need wealth. I need wealth and power. Okay, I'm gonna go to Ozium and then I'm gonna go to, to the sun. See, the thing is, if I could boost my uh, trade skill a little bit more, I would start making like a lot of money. Like, a lot, a lot of money. And then that would basically, you can use the money to like fund military expeditions. And the more science stations and military expeditions you have, the better things are. All right, let's go. I really need better engines. <laughs> I think engine is probably the next thing to do. Everything will be faster if I have a better engine. What's everybody doing? I don't know, all my stuff is crap. What's going on? I have no interest in talking to you. I'm going to this planet because I'm sick of pirates. Goodbye. Let's repair all my stuff. And then we'll just wait a couple of days. What do they got here? A crummy engine. What's my fuel capacity? 33. It's not that good. But I have this endless filling guy. Oh, but black guck takes up a lot of room. 1400 to repair. Is it damaged? What? Oh good, he's not attacking me, so that's fine. Goodbye! Sometimes I wish I had the pirate holes. Also, I think I broke the pirate's code. The pirate's code being, uh, don't help the traitors attack pirates. Okay. There is a black hole here, but I, I'm not gonna go into it. Also, my radar sucks. Like, later in the game, you'll see, like, I will have these giant, like, super powerful things, but I have to, like, get there. Ooh, explosions. Okay, in we go, to the sun. The Dictatorship of Mars. I think I've explored all these. I have not, actually. Let's go to Mercury. And then I'm gonna go to uh, the Ranger Station. Man, there's a lot of fighting going on in this section. What's going on? Oh, piracy, that's what's going on. Okay, so, yeah, leave that on the planet Mercury. I honestly think this, it's just water. Go to Neptune. I honestly think that this this first probe I have isn't very good. The class class C, I need like a class A probe, which of course doesn't come until much later. Okay, let's fly away. Yeah, leave this on planet Neptune. 
Let's go to the ranger station. And then I need this industrial dictatorship or industrial democracy. Hello, I have property on this station. I would like to take 40 Ford minerals from storage, thanks. I would like to repair all my stuff. And then I will fly away. And I will go over here. And I will sell my minerals for money. Which I desperately need. Alright, I will sell you for 400. No drugs, no guns, huh? Alright. Let's go to the science station. I would like to fund a research project. I have to do the business center for... I don't know how you build business centers. I hope I never run out of business centers because it's going to be a problem. All right, what do we got here? I got to get my, I got to sell. It's like, I would like to interested in research probes. Not that great. Low orbit, maybe next time. I would like to upgrade my equipment. Uh, oh, so I can literally mesostructurally, so you can upgrade the hole. Uh, that may be the thing I have to do. Um, well, what I really need here is, oh, I'm part of the Malik elite guard. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's weird um what can i buy here what do you got you got a transport hole that's that's what i need but i think it's smaller than my current one isn't it two hundred points durability versus my current ship which has 251 so it's better I would like to trade in my current hull please thank you all right so now I got all the slots all the slots I could use and I've got more capacity which is really useful all right so I've upgraded my hull finally okay <laughs> now this is a ranger hull so I've got all four of the magic slots open. Um, so now I don't know what my top speed is, but at least I'm like not a total loser and I've got a Feyen ship. So this is a ranger hole. All right, so let's go back to Mercury. What have we got on Mercury? Oh my God, I need all the upgrades I can get. <laughs> Every single upgrade, please. What's here? Medical supplies, guns, and a fuel cistern. Got 53 days till that's complete. Okay. Let's go to Venus. I'm sure Venus will sell me stuff. Uh, are we flying through the sun? Why are we doing that? Why did it ah stupid AI. That was just that was just a pathing issue. Do 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 I can't sell drugs, but I can sell guns. Haha. -ha. Alright, I need to repair my stuff. I'm gonna sell this fuel. And then um I'm going to look at buying a better engine. Oh, that's perfect. So is that one. I don't have the money for that. Hello. Hello, pirate. That's an actuator gripper. I don't know what that gripper do, but I'm taking it. Oh, 
Oh my god, 31 things of weapons. Sell it, baby. <laughs> that was lucky right there. That was very lucky. Uh, that's somebody's somebody's death for sure. Paid paid my way. All right, selling guns, and then we've got this gripper. Is it better than my current gripper? No, it's fundamentally worse. Full repairs, please. And then I would like to buy a better. Can I buy the engine now? So I have a 24 engine. I would like to buy this engine. Thank you. Oh yeah. 450. So this is a significant speed boost. So that's good. Gotta have it. All right, let's go. I got somebody on Neptune. Let's just go over there. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> so fast he crashed into an asteroid <laughs> oh wow that is a lot faster though that's good I'm needing that and then there's some stuff over there I can I can sell those minerals for all they're worth all right what do we got still haven't found anything wow leave that probe there on Neptune I got lucky that trader just up and up and got destroyed by that pirate. Finding those wep illegal weapons uh, and selling them really made me a lot of cash. Give me the goods. You gotta have cash. You know what I mean. You gotta. You gotta have it. Okay. Let's go to Mars. They have they have uses for such things. Yeah, it's fine. Do I have everything I need? Yes. I really do need a better probe though. All right, let's sell some stuff. Sell the minerals, baby. Repair my damaged equipment. Wow, there's a lot of alerts. After voting, wait, wait, wait. The system, the the ranger, the system of ranger centers is announcing a new station opening in the Akara system. After voting, they chose the beautiful name for it, Old. All space pilots uh, receive data on the changes of the star valves. Welcome to our new center. Okay. Uh, pirates have homed in the, uh, I like the pirate base name Thriller. A new business center, hyperinflation. Yeah, that's good. Space travel is a beautiful, ungrateful business. Is it? I, I don't know anything about anything. Um, I'm gonna get my probe back. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about space travel, considering I constantly travel through space in my very fast ship. Uh, what do we got? What's that? Okay, so now we have a new military base. So it seems like they're doing all right. That gripper sucks. I'm not. I'm not taking that. I can't even sell that. I can't even like carry it. All right, let's check out Mercury. Maybe we'll have more better luck on Mercury. All right, in we go. Come on. Oh, that's an explosion. Uh, a gun, which actually is a pretty lightweight gun, so I might just equip that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I need I need the I need the shooty shoots. Can't really beat that. All right, so I'm gonna repair, and then um, probably fly to another system with a science center. There we go. Uh, repair everybody. Repair this probe. 
Well, this one is not that good at planes, but this one is. This is like a genuinely good one. Ugh, but this one's so light is the thing. Mm. Can I buy anything that's useful? Ooh, that's like a better hole. I would need 17,000 credits. Hey, wait, they have missile launchers here? They do. I can't afford them. You got any missions for me? No. Sorry, Dingus Khan, we don't have any missions. Even though you're a uh, mildly successful ranger now. Oh, there's a defense going on. We gotta go help defend. Maybe I'll take out a ship and then become famous. If I could get Ranger Liberator status, that would really help my life. How much fuel I got? I can probably make it. Okay, so that's going to use some fuel. I'm going to be... I have Black Guck. Is it still working? Yes. I have 25 points of fuel, so I should be okay. I'm using 16 to get there. Wait. Really? Really, 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 hold up. Why? You dingus. Like, there's a war on, really? You know what? Shoot you. And I'm gonna go to this planet. Am I still alive? Yeah, I'm actually doing okay. Must be nice to have missiles. And Black Guck is dead. I don't have the money to fix it. Okay, see this is good though, because now I know. And now I'm fueled up. But with what? Okay. Let's go to Sephrona. Okay, so if I have money, I can fix it. So now I don't have black guck, which is very bad, uh, because I need that to constantly refuel me. Uh, are we fighting the Dominators? Yeah, where are they? Are the pirates defending? Oof, that's rough. Okay, yeah, it's Blazer. Who's ready for Blazer? Oh, I love fighting Blazer. Blazer's the fighty boy. Let's hit him. He's got a big shield, but I've got a bigger shield. So wait, 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 what's this? Not useful. Alright, hit him. Wait, is he attacking me? Oh, that's so mean. I might die here, so... Leska. Oh, I'm definitely going to die here, but uh, I will still be. Yep, I toast. Oh, no. I can't believe it. That's fine, though, because I'm just I'm just going to reload on planet Gralka or whatever. <laughs> All right. Let's go up. Let's do it. I think I can still defend Sophrona. If I can convince the pirates to fight, I'm gonna call up the pirates and be like, hey pirates, come help. The aliens will cut into your pirate profits. Your pirate money will be useless in a galaxy controlled by a robot that doesn't believe in commerce. Hey, can I, can I convince your help? I see a container. I propose a joint attack. Very nice offer, but I am very busy now. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna go down here. Do we have like, is it literally just the one ship? Cause if it's just the one ship, I don't really, I, I think we can get him. 
Yes, I like this idea. I'm coming in. I'm not just going to auto battle this one cuz that would be very bad. Can you like help me out, bro? Uh, excuse me. All we have to do is blow this guy up and we're golden. Oh, well, he's toast. I need his transmission scanner, though. Uh-oh. What's going on here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 1,200. Well, that's not useful to me. I'm still going to get it. Let's get out of here. I think I'm faster than this ship. I think so. I think I'm faster. Maybe? Oh, dear. Uh, no, I am definitely faster. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do some point defense. I can't zoom in, so this makes it very hard. More point defense. Target locked. Ooh, wow, I took a beating. Oof. Wow. Full repairs are 1,100 credits. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to sell some stuff. First, wait, did I even pick anything up? I thought I picked something up. Oh, I picked up this tracking scanner. Uh, I'm going to sell it. And then I'm going to use this to repair the hull. It's got to have that. And then I'm going to repair the engines because we're going to need that. All right. Can I refuel? Yes. Because I may need to get out of here in a hurry. Okay. So it's just the one ship. That's interesting. I'm going to hide out on this planet. He can't have that many salvos left, right? If I can get him to expend all his missiles, then I can just like run around him and maybe someone will come help. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work. I'm just going to scan this planet for a few days. All right. Leave them on the planet and we... Hey, sweet. There's some nodes and I need those. Uh-oh. Is it him? It's, it's, no, that's fine. It's just robots. Dude, come on. Let's just, we can take him out. Stupid pirates. What a bunch of losers. This is my issue with the pirates. They're just a bunch of, they're just a bunch of, like, losers. They're like, fuck you got mine kind of people. And I don't like that. Wait, if I can go to this guy. We're in scanner range now. I think it's just the one it's just the one ship is the thing. That's what's so crazy is I don't think they have a lot of They don't have what it takes. Oh, here he comes. All right, so what do I want to do? I want to sell I want to sell what I got. I want to repair my droid because I'm going to need that additional damage cladding repair. 300 repair for the engines. It's very expensive. Uh oh. He's a coming. Maybe I can manipulate him into trying to go through the sun. I might be able to do that. Yes, he's going through the sun. Did I just blow up? I did. Damn it. I'm like the only person here. 
Uh, I'm trying to defend this system, guys. What? Okay, so I just I just got to book it. I might have just soft locked this game if I'm not careful. Okay. Let's speed boost out of here. Hold up. Are we okay? I got 105 health. This may not be sufficient. Let's go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Wait, I think that this guy, okay, good. He's changing targets. Nope, dead again. Oh God, I hope I didn't soft lock. Oh, lordy. Okay. I can't stay on this planet. If I stay on this planet, I will be killed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Can I, like, repair things? Okay, so yeah, I can't even do that. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. I'm not welcome on this planet anymore. Sophrona is toast, okay. Hey, he's moving off, he's too far away now. I will not soft lock. This is considered a dominator system. Cool. I'm really I'm really digging this. Take some damage. No. The problem is the missiles. I'm not I'm not digging the missiles. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna drop in here. See what we get. So I just barely escaped death, which is great. I'm going to just see if we find anything on this planet. Nothing, huh? Nothing. Wow. Okay, up we go. Whoop. All right. Uh, I should have sufficient fuel to get out of here. All right. Ooh, ah, help. <laughs> oh, my God. They're coming. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> It's a pirate base, it's a military base. Uh, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. There's a ranger center at the sun. There's a military base. Where's all the science places? They're all in like other sectors, aren't they? Let's go to this planet and see if I can buy a star chart. That might help. That might make me feel better about my lot in life. Oh, hold up. Can I shoot it? No. Well, there's a lot of moons around this planet. Pirates. Pirates everywhere. All right. Ooh, multiple pages of stuff. That's cool. I already have a good one. I might need shield systems. I definitely need the fuel. What can I sell? I don't have anything to sell. I don't really want to sell any of this. You have any missions for me? 
I can't afford that. Uh, later then. I guess I'll go to the only ranger center I can see, which is elsewhere. Do I have good relations with the pirates here? I can't remember. Ah, whatever. Let's just go to the sun. There's a lot of text. There's a lot of, uh, ooh, whoa, 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 stop, stop, stop. There we go. Look at that. That is mineral zone. Oh man, think of all the money I'm gonna get from these minerals. There were so many minerals I could barely pick them up. All right, I gotta ditch one. My ship is full, but I can immediately turn around and sell these. I would like to sell you some minerals. This is a medical center. Can you repair this? No, no one can repair it. It's just broken. It's broken. I can pick up these, but I can't pick up that big chunk. And I'm gonna need money. I need more money. Money, money, money. I need to ditch 12 of these. Don't do that right now. Let's go into the medical base. I would like to sell you some minerals. I would like to make sure my engine continues to work, please. All right, can I repair everything? No. This piece of crap radar, I'll tell you. It's very light, though. Oh. Okay, fine, I'll go. Uh-oh, Zava! I'm gonna go to Zava after I uh, hang out on Earth for a hot second. If I like turn in some nodes, will I get like something nice? Okay, so I'm gonna go to this ranger center. Look, at least I have a spaceship that works, which like is more than I can say for most of this game. <laughs> I have not had a good thing. I would like to submit node party. Okay, uh, can I get a new micro module? I have 150. What does flow do? Uh, installed into the scanner flow plant, it allows the expansion of the scanner. It increases the power of scanners. Okay, so I don't have, I don't think I even have a scanner. I just sell these, yeah. Just repair this one. Repair this one. Can't do full repairs. I need to like kill some ships is the thing. All right, let's go defend Zava. I need some quests to, what's sad is now I would be good at fetch quests or at the transport quests because I have a very fast ship and it's only gonna get faster. Oh my god. Let's get moving here. Let's see what we get. Boop a doop a deep, boop a doop a doo. Alright, what's the situation? I don't know, it seems like they're doing okay. There is a ton of stuff over here though. I'm gonna go over there. Hey, don't pull up those nodes. I need them. Dominator packages. Stack barrel. 
Ooh, an industry laser. A better industry laser than what I got. Okay, what do we got? We got, uh, I'm gonna need some of this. The stack barrel. Uh oh, out of room. Well, I'm gonna take the fuel. What does the stack barrel do? 22. It's less fuel capacity, but it's also like dominator technology, which is cool. Um, 21. Up to 315, 1 to 20. Well, this is a better industry laser. What can I dump? Like, all my stuff is nice. I'm going to dump this probe. Sadly, I can't take any of this. I need to go to this planet. Ship speed zero. Uh, I'm always, like, full. I need more stuff. I think they successfully defended. I am going to sell this. I am actually going to... I'm going to dump the Class C probe so I can move. I'm going to go here and sell this, and I will come back for my stuff. Ah! Oof. It's a good thing I have hole. Uh, definitely need that. I would like to sell this. What's the what's their problem with me? I'm not gonna play such an outrageous price. What's their issue with me, huh? I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I don't know, I probably sold drugs there once or something. Alright, well, put this into orbit. Alright, oh, where's my guy? I need this. I need 1800 money to, like, deal with these problems. I, I just can't. I need more capacity. Okay, let's go over here. See what we got. What the situation is. Container out of radar range. Radar suggests that this is a torsion reactor. No! No, it's mine. It's my torsion reactor. No! Uh, this ranger just hoovering stuff up. Who's this? Leonid. You dingus. I was gonna sell that torsion reactor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to get rid of four of these. Carrying a lot of extra weight these days. Hey look, we saved Zavia, that's all that matters. I'm just gonna leave my probe on R and all. Alright, so I'm gonna Here's another probe, put it into orbit. Boop, boop, boop. And I gotta drop another four. Alright. Drop four, please. Just throw him out the airlock. And then let's go back to the sun. See, the sad part is this is increasing my ranger ranking, but it's, like, not giving me the XP I want. How much XP have I got? 1760. Basically, the only way to get XP is by completing quests or by uh, killing uh, dominators, and I have done neither. Alright, in we go. I might go into that wormhole, see where it takes me. But first, 
I would like to go to the ranger zone. And sell some stuff. Whoa, that was a little close. At least I have some nodes this time. Which is useful, because I'm going to need to sell the nodes. The nodes, I think, help advance the tech, which is very good to have. I would like to submit a node party. I have 159 nodes, which I can't use. What is scent? I feel like scent's good. No, increases the size plus cost. Stow play. Oh, man, this would be useful. I really want the d d DVMA. All right, so what can I do? I'm going to sell this for 400 Yeah. Yeah, that's the best I got. So I'm going to sell this. I'm going to sell this. I'm going to do full repairs. Wait, can I do full repairs? Is that even a good idea? Okay. Repair those. Buy... Ooh, I could buy better hole, maybe. No. 300 versus 278. That would be useful. I would need 6,000 credits to do that. See, this is the one I want. I want this one. Like, more hole space is just better. I do want this, and I can't buy it. Uh, okay, fine. Fix that. I'm gonna go to the science center now. They might have a probe I can buy. I need a water probe, damn it. If I had a water probe, I think I would be just raking in the cash. <laughs> just raking it in. Hey, hey. Hey. If I die because I didn't fire on the first turn, I'm going to be disappointed. My shield system is crap. Alright, yep, I died. It's okay. It happens all the time. Just go back in time. Really hope that pirate doesn't donk me up. Okay, well, I'm going to go here first. I don't know why the Earth governments would be mad at me specifically. Yeah, here comes the pirate. Go away, dude. I don't I don't want to deal with your crap. Repair some cladding. Wait, is he seriously just waiting for me? Yeah, let's hit him. Wow, dude. Cool. Oh, here comes the pirate. Can I make it in four days? I don't know. We'll find out. I don't want to pay money. I don't want I don't care about that. Dude. Every now and again you get a pirate who's just too good, you know? I would like to buy research. Yes! Oh my god, I need 3,000. Uh, <laughs> can I sell this? It's not worth anything. Wow. Repair this. Oh my god. Okay, well, now we got water probes at least. Alright. Oh my god, is it literally just sitting there waiting? I don't have any money, dude. Friends, uh, double the sum. I don't have any goddamn money, dude. I don't know. 
I do wish that the piracy wasn't so difficult to deal with. There we go. He's gone now. I'm going back. I'm going back to Zava. Watch as the pirate, like, suddenly appears. There he is! Here he's coming. Oh, wait, no, it's not him. Never mind. <laughs> he's coming. He's coming. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I would like to go back to my life on this planet. Is it Arnall? Where are they? Yeah, it's Arnall. Which, between the two probes, they should be knocking out quite a bit each day. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What's on this planet? What do we see? We got food. Pronger. A radar extension piece? What does that do? 600 point increase to radar range, which is not really that helpful for me, so I will probably sell it. I'm gonna sell that food. 33 days? I can I can leave those on the planet Arnold and come back later. Uh, let's see, I need an industrial... There's a pirate base there. Let's go there. That should work out. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to work my way up in this world, you know? I'm just on my grind set day after day. Just trying to trying to make it. I really What's that? Uh not really that sellable to be honest. Alright. Just trying to make expenses work. You know, the funny thing is, I think the game thinks that I'm, like, trying to do this the traitor way, but it really more was just I was forced into it by circumstance. <laughs> oh, do I gotta drop something? Drop. One, two. I gotta throw away four of these. There we go. Go into the business center. Alright, can I sell these for stuff? That's surprisingly low priced, actually. Um, but I will sell uh, this. It's 1600 for full repairs, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, um, ooh, 1769. I can't wait till I have 42069 experience. I'm waiting for that day. All right, um, I guess I'll go to the, that's an agricultural republic. Wow, uh, agricultural monarchy, uh, mixed anarchy, love it. I have excellent relations with them. Excellent relations with them. Excellent, rela I don't understand why that one planet was like, fuck you. Okay, because that's... I like how this agricultural planet has, like, a giant orbital, what I can only assume is a grain elevator. I can sell that for 15. It was honestly better uh, on the station, but I'm lazy. I got 2,000. What can I buy? Uh, I already have a good hole. An improved radar. A vastly improved radar. I could use a better shield system, to be honest, but everything's too heavy. Ooh, an even lighter gun? Yes, please. Yeah, give me that industry laser. 1500 credits for full repair, but everything's repaired now. And up we go. That's what it takes. And now I got enough money. I think I can get... I'm going to probably try and get into a new sector. 
Shovels, you don't want to like go into too many new sectors, but it also will give me access to more quests, which I kind of need because I need money. Quests are like the easiest way to get money, like a lot of money very quickly at relatively low risk. And now that I have a good engine, I can probably get away with like flying really quickly between planets. Oh, this is a good engine. It's it's an improved engine. All right, let's check it out. What do we got? Arnall. Where's Arnall? It's all the way over there. So that's going on. And so let's check out my relations with this planet. I have bad relations with Capablanca. Why? An industrial dictatorship. Probably because I carried drugs there once. I don't know. I mean, I've, I've sold drugs. We've all done it. Uh, wow, nothing on this planet. I need a water probe is what I need. That's what I gotta have. All right, so let's go. Oh, they're trying to liberate uh, Sephrona. Do I dare go to Sephrona to assist in the liberation? Because if I get Ranger Liberator status, that will give me a lot of XP. You will also like notice there's titles, so you get like a title based on what you're doing. Um, oh, what's the news? Dominators occupied Terrara. I can't go there. So Sephrona failed. Liberation of Sephrona has failed. That's fine. Oh shoot, there's a pirate base here, isn't there? I have bad relations with uh, this Feyan planet. Probably because I tried to sell them some cut rate stuff. All right. Got a mission for me? Oh, <gasps> yes! Ranger Dingus Khan, you may become witness to a very interesting event, the defreezing of a polar earthling singer. El a popular earthling singer, Elvis Presley, was frozen back in 1977. According to the established procedure, the first stage of defreezing must be held in deep space under zero gravitational conditions. This will be done on board the transport giant ship. The uh, insurance package envisages this procedure will be paid a total of 2,200 credits if you do security for the next... Uh, I got anything more difficult? Give me 2,800 credits. I'll, uh, no, 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 no. I want to do it. Uh, I'm gonna. I'll accept it later then. Okay, so I will probably get money for this. Uh, do I want to wait 93 days? Probably not. Actually, you know what? What do we got going on? Sephrona's under attack. Or we're trying to liberate Sephrona. What's happening? Corsair Plague. Yeah, you know, Elvis. Yeah. You know, the famous singer. Frozen in... Pickle juice, maybe? I don't know. See, here's the problem, right? He's like, oh, it's Elvis. And I'm like, is it though? Is it really Elvis? Is it my friend, Elvis Presley? Who knows how he was frozen? And when he would, I guess they know when he was frozen. Hey, are, are we the Rangers liberating the, uh, the system? Yeah, we can do this. Take him out. Don't run away, losers. We can do this. I did it. Uh, we need to get the hell out of Dodge. Well, at least I killed one ship, so that's good. That did not work. That was an attempted uh, liberation that just did not did not fly. But it gave me experience points. <laughs> So if I increase this skill, I want to believe it would be an Elvis impersonator because they don't know anything about their own history. Upsala Vega, let's go. <laughs> the frozen Elvis impersonator. 
He was frozen solid in a vat of ice. Uh, pickled? No. I want to... Hmm. I don't know. Let's find out. I want the money. I haven't failed the mission yet, so... Let's see what we got. How many days we got left on this? Uh, 62? Let's hang out for two months on this planet. Get the money. Yay! We set the Dominators free. Or no, we freed ourselves from the Dominators. Yeah! Money! 400 experience points. I need better trade skill. Do you have any special quests for me? No. Wait. Oh, I missed the dialogue. Damn it. They would have told me to give me a fiver. Or I don't know what that means. I got money, though. I can repair all my broken stuff. I can repair this thing. I have to go to the pirates to get this repaired. Ugh. What did they give me? Increase the power of the generated impulse power. Third shot fired from an energy weapon is increased power. Nope. Sell it. Can I buy something better? That's a pirate hole. I can't afford it. Uh, ectogene gripper. Can't afford it. Plasma thread gripper. Can't afford it. Actuator gripper can grip up to 53. Well, that's better than what I got. Is it 23? It's 20. Yeah. Alright. So we'll swap out that one. We can sell this for 900 credits. Okay. Famous, famous Elvis impersonator, Elvis Prosley. Bing, Bing Elvis. Uh, no, that's not it. I'm still at 42, but I'm doing better. Uh, I am I am a ranger. I should I should demand that a ranger report to me, because if you're if you're better at talking than the other ranger, you will force them to agree with you, and they will be like, "Yes, master, I will serve you." I want to be a daddy ranger. I have the leadership skill to do it. Maybe I should just like do that. Become my servant. It's a pirate base. Can they fix Black Guck? Probably not. I can't pick that guy up. Uh, let's go to this industrial dictatorship where I have excellent relations. Do 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 do. All right, in here. I would like to buy a star map. Yes, I would like to buy a star map. Yes, I would like to buy a star map. Yeah. All right, so now the galaxy's much bigger. Look at that, look at all this stuff. There's a medical center. There's a pirate base. There's a scientific base up there, a diadem. So let's go there. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna head up towards that zone. Wait, are there people fighting? Yeah, fuck them up. Give me the money. Let's see, danger enemy all around, but Malik ships never quit. On a very rare uh, occasion, we would have to land on some planet to get something to eat and refuel. That's exactly the case now. Oh, I'm gonna show them all. What are you grinning at? Share some of your riches with me. More, more. I would like 1,400 credits. Share some of your riches with me, boy. Okay, well, you die then. Haha, -ha, dead he, dead he is. Oh wait, what's this? 68, I can't pick up that many minerals. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, blue. I don't know who Blucifer is. What is Blucifer? <laughs> what? What? Is, what is Blucifer? <laughs> is this some devilry? Is this some some of the devil's tricks?
I don't know anything about uh, Denver, so you'll have to enlighten me. Is Blucifer like... Is it the devil but blue? Oh yeah! I know that one. I know the I know the I know the horse statue. Why is it called Blucifer? <laughs> I vaguely I remember this when I was driving through Denver there was yeah, yeah, that was like a thing people were talking about. It wait, what? It killed its creator? That's not good. That's the opposite of good. Okay, now I'm overloaded. That's that's very alarming. I would not like that. I suspect foul play. Maybe it wasn't the statue's fault. Maybe it's because of, uh, maybe the statue's creator had a rival, a rival horse statue maker who was like, I am going to engage in criminal activity uh, and get rid of this person that is my enemy. 28 versus 22. Yeah, so it's going to beat that. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of leftover bits of Dominator here. Well, I'm going here. I have pretty good relations with this dictatorship. And his family insisted they had to display it since he died making... Oh, no! <laughs> no, you have to display the evil statue because he died. Wow, those are cheap. That's too cheap. Alright, uh, 52. Yeah. Prepare all... Prepare this guy. Prepare this guy. Okay. Can I get like a... Oh, that's the hole I want. Can I get this engine? Not enough, but oh, that would be nice. Okay. More fuel. I... I'm very scared and alarmed by this statue. That's terrifying. Justice for Blucifer? No! <laughs> It's evil! It killed somebody! Also, like, what brought on this Denver? Is there a star system called Denver that I just walked past? Ooh, a stack barrel, an industry laser, an industry laser. In here. Go, 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 go. <laughs> What was the artist's name? Was the artist also called Blucifer? Because I'm starting to see a pattern. Up we go. Sorry, planet Dorley. I need a ranger station. Is there a ranger station? This is a scientific base. Military base, science base. There's a ranger center up there. We'll go up there. Wait, really? Did I just not see it? Where is it? Diadem, Alta, Favi. Am I just stupid? Luis uh, Jimenez. Oh, poor Luis. Spitting gamma. Well, I I don't see it, but I believe you. I just I don't know where where it would be. I'm going this way. Wop. Poor Luis. He tried his best. <laughs> he got crushed by by Blucifer. <laughs> I feel like Blucifer would be in like a modern like cartoon, like a. <laughs> Wait, hoot.
Oh, you mean under hoof. Hoot. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to space. I'm gonna go to the Ranger Center and I'm going to give them my uh, special stuff. There's a container over there. What's in it? What's in this container? I need, I need what's in this container. Uh, ooh, a transmission scanner. That's too heavy for me to pick up. Okay. Do I not have... I don't think I could get there. Low fuel, low engine capacity. Let's see. I may not be able to get there. Can I get there? I can now. Okay. Do I get a military rank? I need 33 more warfighter points. You need to be a better warfighter if you want to go there. <laughs> I also don't want to deal with this pirate. No, I refuse. Ow! What is everybody in this system mean? I'm gonna die here. Ah! I'm really liking this this new system that I uh, was based. Oh my God! The name of the space station was Bumblebee. I didn't even notice. That's such a good name. Okay, well, I guess I'll go this way to avoid the pirates. I need a faster ship. I need a ship that's, like, so fast they can't possibly hit me. Ow! Why are you shooting me? Ow! What did I know? Any missions for me? <gasps> wait, wait! I got a mission. Oh my god! Listen up, Dingus Khan. You should already know that me palings can decide our sex and change it whenever we wish. Don't you know that? We sure do. Oh my god! We need no surgery to change our sex. Unlike some retarded. Ooh, ah, the R word. Unlike some races. Uh, oof. let's see. Uh, uh, all we need to do is get authorization from the sacred Lukashery. It is our race's ancient tradition for the palings. Unauthorized change, if sex, is the second severest crime after whistling. Very alien words here. Candidates for the change of sex have to go through sacred ritual. Previously, they put on masks of the sacred animals, patch varishes, and fought with each other. But presently, as new technologies evolved, the ritual became more cultured and civilized. Thousands of failings wish to pass it every year. Let's get down to business. Our honored priest, uh, mistress, president, uh, decided to change her sex. However, in order to get authorization from the sacred Lukashkari, one has to go to planet Shukeo in the system of uh, Fadok, but she is uh, extremely busy and just cannot leave the planet Yokang. So, uh, Yokang, so if you could get there before 16th March 3308 and pass the ritual instead of Mistress President, we will pay you 3,000 credits. Don't worry that you're not a failing. Our custom is that one does not have to be president the sex uh, selection ritual, but could just send someone else, even if it's not a failing. I uh, got anything a little bit easier because I don't think I could get there in time. Yeah, I'll accept that mission. Later then. All right, so I need to get to uh, go to the planet Shukia in the system of Fadok, which is all the way up there. Okay, I can get there. If I don't die, I need to go to Altair. What's it going to take to get you to leave me alone, dude? I will give you 1,200 credits to leave me alone. All right. <laughs> All right. So important to note, this is where we get into the interesting quests. 
because this quest is not a fetch quest. This quest is where the game starts getting really good and we get into uh, the, um, okay, what's going on here? There's some piracy happening. I have excellent relations with this dictatorship. Uh, so basically this is gonna be a text-based adventure and it's gonna be so good. Oh yeah, I want the XP and more importantly, I just love the text-based quests, especially because some of them are not well-written and it's a lot of fun. All right, I will, I will fix that. All right, got this. I gotta get to. I gotta get to Feedock. How much time do I have? I gotta get there by April, and it's January. It's almost March, or it's almost February. It's March now when I'm recording this. But oh wait, 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 hold up. What's this? Fragment cannon. I can't carry it. It's too heavy. But oh, and I can't even pick it up, so it doesn't matter. All right. I think uh, I can pick up an object that is up to 53 in size and this is 58 okay well let's just do that do you... I have to help madam president become mr. president Wow science is amazing today turning turning gals into <laughs> gals into to men I don't know what planet do I need to go to? Uh, I need to go to Sukeho. That one. All right, here we go. It's a holy planet, uh, holy to them. Glory be to I, the Rangers. All right, let's see. Wow, there's some fighting happening. What is this, a Ranger pirate? It was a Ranger raider. Hey dude, you wanna be my friend? Join me under my command, Ukesh. You do not look like a leader, Dingus Khan. Au contraire, I am your leader. My rank is higher than yours, so I will not serve under command. When was the last time you read? Ah, oh, fine, fine. Join me under my command, fellow Rangers. <laughs> Let us be one. I would like to do this planetary quest. You must go through the sacred paling ritual so that Miss President of Planet Yokang can change her sex. What is this ritual all about? You land, you landed. I guess it's all gonna be in past tense. So this is gonna be very strange. In a common paling spaceport. But once you had prepared yourself for several traditionally tiresome hours of paling customs procedures, what they do what do they look for every time? There's nothing forbidden anyway. A paling in a long green cloak approached you. I believe you are Dingus Khan. Oh good advice. I believe you are Dingus Khan. You arrived to obtain authorization for a change of sex for a powerful paling, didn't you? I was assigned to welcome you and show you the temple. I am going to make you take you to the tree distributor who will tell you about the ritual. He raved, uh, he waved to the customs officers. They passed you without any checks. Amazing. Looks like the participants in the ritual are in high esteem among the palings. You got to, you get into a gravicar, which I guess is like a car that flies. Um, and in half an hour, arrive at the temple. To, arrived to the temple, which amazingly was like an ordinary administrative building. Moments later, you found yourself in an office of another paling who introduced himself as Chief Distributor Yakusha Bureaucrat. Oh, bureaucrat! I get it. Yakusha. Yakusha bureaucrat. Oh, Yakuza bureaucrat. Nice. Good job. You probably uh, should say something. Tell me about the ritual. Do you have some coffee? Should I, uh, should I also send you on a secret mission? Laughed bureaucrat in return. He definitely has extensive experience of accepting rangers in, a, in his office. I don't get the joke. Tell me about the ritual. Thanks to modern technologies, you will be turned into a patch barrage. It is a little sacred creature with three legs and six eyes. You will then be put into a, a Pashkavarsh village where you will have to justify that you are worthy of an authorization of a change of sex. Thus, you will need to accomplish either of these. Gain more weight, up to 100 HG. Hug. Ju eat just as much as you can. Dig a burrow of at least 50 R deep and win respect among the Paravishes above at least 50%. 
decrease your respect level fight with other Parvishes. Beat the Parvish Chief. Bear in mind, however, that in order to be eligible for a fight with a Chief, you will have to bring five scalps uh, of Parvishes killed by you. Wow, this is a terrible society. Uh, let's start the ritual. How much time there is? There is no time limit. Just do everything right. Turn me into a Parvish. Uh, yeah, whatever. No, let's start the ritual. Good. <laughs> Just do it. We begin our transformation into a Parvish. The vase pushing a button on a wall. A small droid rolled onto you from the far end of the room. It moved around you as assessing a target. Then it stopped behind. A cold, a cold metal of the robot's metal connectors touched your back and eyes. Connection established. Electronic voice of, said the electronic voice of the robot. Counting down. Three, two, one. Your knees began to tremble. It was scary. Your consciousness faded and it became dark. Oh, that's not good. Finally, you realized you could see. You found yourself in a cave. This looks like your burrow. You examined yourself and found out you had three legs and that your whole body was covered in fur. By the way, you had six eyes. <laughs> By the way, you had six eyes. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> I just, just throw that in as a detail. And that's what... What's the strange bump on the back of your head? Isn't that the ultrasonic locator sensor? It is! Uh, you immediately tried to determine your condition. Weight 30 HG, health 100%, burrow depth 8R. This locator also enables you to scan the neighborhood. So the village, a rather big one, is surrounded by three swamps, and the fourth side has a hill where some bushes grow. Both the swamps and the hill are mostly impe like, most likely impenetrable. When Then it is impossible to run away from here. You have to play by local rules. By the way, how many other Parvishos are there? You started counting 10, 20, 30... Hundred? Damn. Damn it, you stumbled. All right, there are many of them, and it can't be counted, but you could measure their respect for you. 40%. Okay. Let's do it. I would like... Let's see. You looked around your burrow. What an ugly place. You'll really have to live here and dig it further. You tried to you tried to curse, but all you managed were some shrieks and howling. That's pretty much what my cursing sounds like. Here we go. It turned out you cannot speak anymore. <laughs> You looked outside. Other par parch marshes, I can't pronounce that, minded their own business. Some ate grass, some fought, some stayed in their burrows. Maybe you should also do something. I would like to get out and look at the stone plate. A stone plate installed nearby your burrow containing the following inscription. Two ways to win. Peaceful. Get big. is basically the same thing. Offensive. Beat the chief. What do you do next? I would like to have a snack. Uh, you eat some tarnished grass around your burrow. It's not extremely nutritious, but rather safe. On their hand, then you go to the nice meadow in the center of the village. You may have a clash with other par fishes arguing. I would like to eat grass next to the burrow. All right. Uh, so now I'm a, I have less health, but I'm a little heavier. This time, the... This time you had a cheerful mood thanks to the health of 100%. Juicy and nutritious grass grew right next to your burrow. You decided it against going and ate it, noticing a strange taste. A pain in your stomach that would be the last straw. You crawled on the... <laughs> this ritual is incredible, by the way. I just It's so good. <laughs> a pain in the stomach. That would be the last straw. You crawled on the burrow and lied down delirious, hardly understanding what was going on. Uh, you don't know how much time had passed, but you lost 6% of health. As as time went by, you felt hungry again, and there was no pain in the stomach anymore. You lost 4 of weight. Your burrow crumbled. I would like to dig dig the burrow. How actively are you going to dig? I'm going to dig slowly and carefully. Alright. There is no need to work hard while digging such a small burrow. You did not, but soon uh, deepened your burrow by 8R. However, other parvish just saw how shallow it is in your burrow, and they did, uh, did not add your respect for you. Quite the opposite. It dropped 4%. I would like to have a snack. I would like to go to the wonderful meadow. Okay. The 36 level percent respect for you uh, is not enough to grass at the best meadow of the village anyway. When you arrived at the meadow, uh, there was no cool parvishes there, and you took the chance and ate the best grass and enjoyed yourself. <laughs> a cool parvish, par parshavish, f uh, found upon you and did not feel much respect for you. No! I want the cool ones to respect me! <laughs> The way he moved showed you that more than half of the village's population respected him. <laughs> oh, this is great. I love it.
more than half the village respects him. I can tell by how he moves. Uh, he did not. Uh, he did not attack, but merely approached slowly. He did not look offensive. You stood up and prepared to greet him, but he considered that a challenge. The other parvishes sounded a battle roar and attacked you. Uh, let's see, attacked you and began beating. Other parvishes heard your screaming and also run in your direction. You had to gun as fast as you could in order to avoid being torn apart. You could only break away from the chase at the outskirts of the village. Let's see, you barely stayed alive. Uh, let's see, you barely stayed alive but lost 6% health and 3% of respect. During the run, you could not gain much weight but only 5 HG. While you were eating, the burrow crumbled by 2. Uh, and then... You now have to get back to your burrow. Okay, so on your way back to the burrow, you notice the Parvish lying in a drain, displaying almost no vital signs. He's either too old or got poisoned with bad grass. I hate that bad grass. <laughs> or possibly too tired. Either case, you have a great chance for an additional scalp with no trouble. Finish the Parshmash and scalp him! Wow. You bent over the helpless Parvish and it suddenly jolted and bit you on the leg. At once the other Parvishes uh, jumped out of the nearby bush and attacked you. It was an ambush! God damn it! <laughs> you finally managed to escape and run to your burrow. <laughs> the cost you 3% of your health, 4% of refract, and 3 HG of weight! Oh! You sat in your burrow healing your wounds. Uh, you must take some, But you must take some decisive actions. I would like to dig the burrow. Uh, I will dig full out. Uh, you begin to dig as is natural for you. Physically extracted familiar yellow-blue soil uh, when a stone crushed on you. I hate it when stones crush on me. You had not noticed before. You have to stop. You had to stop the digging. Uh, yes, the hit was powerful. You lost 12% of health. The burrow uh, deepened by 6. I would like to have a snack. I'm going to eat grass next to the burrow. Uh, you had a snack on the first grass you found. It was not very tasty, but on the other hand, uh, nobody disturbed you. I need to relax. No, do I need to relax? I need to go. I have got some weight, so I feel like I'm going to go fight other Parvishes. I'm going to fight a weak opponent. Uh, you selected an equal opponent with a weight of 32 HG. You better stay away. Uh, I've gained some respect. You better stay away from the coolest Parvishes. You smash and uh, bit each other, but no one could gain significant advantage. Finally... Uh, when you had run out of strength, you let each other go. I gained 5% respect. Uh, during the fight, you lost 1 HG of weight and 2% of health. While you were away, the burrow crumbled by 1. Uh, let's see. It's time to go back to the burrow. Yeah, I'll do that. And then I would like to go fight. I will fight with a weak opponent. Let's see, you selected a more or less equal opponent, engaged him in a deadly fight. You exchanged furious blows and bit each other, tearing large lumps of flesh. Finally, you felt that your opponent is getting weaker with all your remaining force. You put your teeth in your throat uh, and, and held him there before he ceased to display his vital signs. That was a hard encounter, but the trophy of the scalp is rightfully yours. Uh, the fight cost you 9% of health and 2 HG of weight. The respect increased by 5%. The burrow crumbled by 1 AR. It's time for head to home. Okay. I return to the burrow. I'm going to have a snack. I'm going to eat grass in the wonderful meadow. You arrived in the wonderful meadow. And in the middle of the village, they were amazed to see that there was nobody there. You were definitely lucky. You had more than enough excellent grass, and nobody disturbed you. You gained 5 HG of weight. You lost 3% respect. The burrow crumbled by 3. Okay, so now I'm going to return to the burrow. I need more health, so I'm going to relax. Once you closed your eyes... I lost 8% of health? What? What? Oh, okay. Once you closed your eyes, some arrogant pass barch, oh my god, broke into your burrow. You did not tolerate that, of course, and attacked the trespasser with the whole weight of your body of 32 HG. After a short fight, you bit your opponent to death. Just, yum, 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 <laughs> Bit your opponent to death. <laughs> you, lost, uh, you lost health and weight, but obtained a scalp and significantly increased your respect among the other parvishes, which is good, because I'm going to need that. Alright, so I still, my burrow, I need to dig the burrow. 
I need to dig slowly to preserve strength. There's no need to work hard while digging such a small burrow. You did not, but soon, uh, but soon you deepened your burrow by 10 AR. This is basically like Lord of the Flies, yeah. <laughs> this is one of the reasons I love this game, is all the text-based adventures are just incredible, even if they're poorly translated. <laughs> Everyone has to play Space Rangers 2 Rise of the Dominators. <laughs> uh, soon deepened your burrow by 10 AR. Uh, however, other part of us just saw how shallow is your burrow and did not add that that did not add to their respect for you. Quite the opposite. It dropped 2%. Okay, so that's fine. But now I have a fairly deep burrow. I'm going to uh, relax and get more health. While gaining, while relaxing the other, uh, after the Parvish business, you can heal your wounds. Health goes first, you thought, and relax to renew your strength. I'm losing respect and my burrow's crumbling, but I also would like to relax some more. There we go. While relaxing the other Parvish, yeah, okay. So I gained 9%, the burrow crumbled by 3, and I lost 2% respect. But now I'm good for fighting. I would like to have a snack. Uh, I would like to eat at the wonderful meadow. Once you arrived at the... Wait, what? Once you arrived at the burrow, you noticed that all the grass eaten and new grass had not had time to grow. What a nuisance. Due to the stress, your blood pressure rose and you lost 1% of health. You have to go back to the burrow after such a useless trip. But I need to have a snack. I would like to eat at the wonderful meadow. Oh, okay. So now I have to like... Okay, fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, let's dig the burrow then. I would like to dig full out. Digging, uh, okay, so now the burrow's quite deep. During the, digging on the planet Shakeo is a, is a mere torture. You use three legs at once. Uh, they are Parvish's primary weapon and spite against the soil. Two legs are digging and the third one swept the soil away. Yeah, the burrow is the metaphor for the cycle of poverty because I can't actually, like, ever get it. It's just, just constantly, like, shrinking. <laughs> So you had to lie on the back most of the time, sometimes on your belly. Uh, that's just weird. You deepen your burrow by 10 AR. Uh, the work took 3% of health and 2G of weight. You lost 1% uh, of respect. I need a snack. I'm going to eat grass next to the burrow. The grass next to your home was an odd yellowish color. It did not look fresh. Nevertheless, you began munching until you felt bad. Soon you vomited right next to the burrow and immediately felt better. Nevertheless, you gained 5 HG. You lost 2% of respect and 3% of health. The burrow crumbled a little by 1 AR. Okay, but now I have some weight. I'm going to... I would like to get more weight. So I would like to have a snack. I would like to eat in the wonderful meadow. With a weight of 33 hog and a respect of 38%, you are neither elite nor of low in par Parvash society. Fortun oh, so I'm middle class now. Fortunately, when you arrive at the best meadow, there were none of the coolest Parvishes. After a little pushing around with the other Parvish Parvishes, you uh, cleaned a place for yourself on the meadow and ate your fill of excellent grass, which increased my weight significantly. Uh, lost a little health. Okay. So now it's time to gain some respect. I, I weigh a fair amount. I'm going to go fight with a strong opponent. Yeah. <laughs> you lost respect for barfing in your front yard. Ugh! Oh! <laughs> Today you attacked an opponent who was stronger than you. Your weight was just 39 HG while your opponent's weight was at least 70. Nevertheless, you got into the fight with courage, hoping to win respect of other parvishes. You lasted long, but finally felt like giving up and retreated. You hit the opponent with a stick, but he caught it and broke it. How would I be holding the stick? <laughs> the opponent attacked you with the two broken pieces. You fled. Since you were lighter, uh, you could easily extend the distance between yourself and the opponent. He was way behind. He obviously got really annoyed with that and aimed and threw both pieces of the stick at you. You felt stinging pain in one of your paws. Uh, on two paws, you hobbled to your burrow. It's so strange to walk on two paws, it occurred to you. You got horrified with the thought. <laughs> oh no. Uh, I lost weight and health, but the courageous fight got me some respect. And then uh, my burrow crumbled a little bit. I need to get weight, so I'm going to have a snack, uh, eat grass next to the burrow. 
Uh, it's losing me some respect, but it also is gaining me some weight. I would like to have another snack. I would like to go to the wonderful meadow. I'm not elite, but I am I am respected once again. I'm respected enough to gain some weight. A frightened parvish uh, run by your burrow. He saw you on his way and attacked you with a stick. You caught the stick with your paws, but the parvish uh, bit you in the shoulder with its sharp teeth. You felt a pang in your short shoulder and you roared. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the roar was so loud that it frightened the opponent, which obviously uh, uh, nervously looked around and ran away. I gained some respect, but I lost some health and weight. Okay. I gotta relax. I need the health. But it's reducing. Someone stole a scalp! No! I'm gonna relax again to get some health, and I'm gonna relax one more time. Okay, now it's time to dig the burrow. I'm going to dig full out. I Other Parvishes respect me less because of my shabby burrow. I would like to dig the burrow some more. Alright, and then I would like to dig the burrow. Dig full out. I I haven't lost a ton of weight or health, but I am losing a lot of respect. I would like to dig the burrow. I'm going to dig the burrow full out. Okay, let's see. You dig the burrow carefully. You were so focused on it, you didn't notice a big boulder fell on your head. What? <laughs> a big boulder hit me in the head. I didn't even notice. Uh, still have good weight. Still have good health. I'm going to dig the burrow. I'm going to dig full out. Wait, what? So, <laughs> you went to the far end of, let's see, you went to the far end of the large burrow and began to think over a plan of activities today. Once another Parvish infiltrated your burrow. He must have thought that no one is home and wanted to steal one of your scalps. That was outrageous. You took the sto you took a stone and attacked the unwelcome guest. The odds were short and you had an advantage of fighting on your own turf. Soon it was over and the scalp of an unlucky marauder was included in your inventory. You now have two scalps. And I gained some respect, uh, which is very good because I need it. Uh, I would like to, I'm going to dig the burrow one more time and I'm going to dig full out. Ouch. Wow. You began to dig as if it was natural for you. You vigorously extracted familiar yellow blue so a stone crushed you, uh, crushed on me again. Okay. So now I have to relax to regain health. But I gained respect. Ouch. Once you closed your eyes, some arrogant parvish broke into your burrow and did not tolerate. Uh, you attack him with the full weight of your body. After a short... I'm gaining scalps just by, like, hanging out. <laughs> After a short fight, you bit your opponent to death. You lost a lot of health and weight, but you gained some respect. Okay. I, I'm... I'm gonna... I'm gonna relax one more time. There we go. So now I got some health. I've got respect. I've got a fairly deep burrow. I need to eat. So let's have a snack. I'm going to go to the wonderful meadow. Uh, all the grass has been eaten and no new grass has grown. God damn it. I'm going to have a snack in front of my burrow. All right. So the grass next to your home uh, is some odd yellowish color. Uh, I vomited. And of course, I lost respect and health. But now I can relax and gain some health. And then I would like to relax again to gain even more health. Health is first. All right. So now I got some weight. I got some health. I would like to go have a snack. I will eat grass in the wonderful meadow. Still hasn't regrown. Uh, I will eat grass next to the burrow. The grass next to your home is an odd yellowish color. I vomited once again, which of course hurts my respect. Uh, I need a snack. I'm going to eat grass next to the burrow. So now I'm like heavy. How much? I have to have a weight of like 100, right? I have to have 50 R deep and I have to weigh 100. The yellow grass is the only food available. <laughs> I'm losing so much respect, but I... <laughs> <laughs> the yellow grass is all I got. I got me some scalps, though. All right, so I'm going to have a snack. I'm going to eat in the wonderful meadow. Wow, I lost a lot of health on that one. 
Uh, with a level of respect of 29%, you had to stand to fight in a place from the meadow. Fortunately, your weight of 49 HG is good for fighting, and you could keep away some cool parvishes that wanted to take your place. During the fight, you lost 12% of health, but I gained 4% respect, and I gained some weight, and the burrow crumbled. God damn it. Uh... On the way back to the burrow, you notice a parvish lying in a drain displaying almost no vital signs. He's either too old or got poisoned. It should be an additional scout with no trouble. I'm not going to fall for this again. <laughs> uh, you decided against finishing the uh, the helpless parvish, and to show that you have enough scalps, you prefer to extract them in a straight fight. Such coolness impressed the other parvishes a great deal, and their respect for you increased 5%. Which I desperately need, because people still don't like me that much because of all the vomiting I'm doing. You should not stop at what has been achieved. Don't pass the ritual by staying in the burrow. It's time to act. I need to have a snack. I am going to... Actually, no. Uh, nope, too late. Uh, let's go next to the burrow. I lost a little respect, a little bit of health. The burrow is crumbling. I'm going to go fight other parvishes, and I'm going to fight with a weak opponent. You noticed the weakest uh, Parvish among your opponents and caught him before he could escape. After bringing him down to the ground, you began kicking, beating, and biting him in all sorts of ways. You enjoyed it and grunted out of pleasure while the small Parvish shrieked desperately. But once you raised your par for the final blow, you felt a terrible pain in your head. Looking back, you noticed a cool Parvish with a huge club and uh, one obviously uh, did not like the way you treated the weaker opponent. Uh, so... Uh, you decided against arguing with him. Let the weak one go and backed off. What a pity. You almost got another scalp. <laughs> that guy's cool, but he barfs. <laughs> the hit uh, on the head cost you 1% of health. Weak parvishes are terrified of you, while the strong ones uh, despise you more. So in average, uh, your respect increased 2%. The burrow crumbled by 2. It's time to go back to the burrow. Okay, I, I need health badly. So let's have a relax. Uh, my health recovered by three. I lost. Oh, man. I lost respect. And now I got to dig. I got to dig carefully to save strength. All right. I got that. Uh, I need more respect. So go fight. I'm going to pick a strong opponent. Man. With a weight of 56 per HG, you can afford to attack a cool parvish. That's what you did by attacking one of the strongest inhabitants in the village. The fight was magnificent, and none of the opponents achieved a significant advantage. Finally, you burrowed, you bowed to each other and went in opposite directions. Other parvishes were astonished by such an entertainment. During the fight, I lost 5% of health and 2 HG of weight. The respect is increased 6%, and my burrow crumbled by 3. Okay, I need to fight again. And I'm going to fight a strong opponent. Yeah, almost half. Uh, your weight was just 54 HG while your opponent's weight was 70. You got in a fight of courage, hoping to win respect for the other parvishes. You lasted long and finally felt like giving up and retreated. Okay, it's the stick one again. All right, so I, I weigh too little, apparently. Uh, I would like to have a snack. I'm going to go eat grass next to the burrow. It was not very tasty, but I also didn't, like, die, so that's nice. I would, like, dig carefully to save strength. And then I would like to relax. Wow, I gained respect, though. Once you closed your eyes, the arrogant Parvish broke in. Uh, I gained another scalp. I have a lot of scalps. Uh, I still need to relax. I have very little health, and I, I need to save... Oh my god, I'm about to die. Oh my god, relax. Please, give me some health. There we go. I got a little more health. Dig the burrow. Burrow's a lot deeper. People respect me less because my burrow is deeper. Probably your shabby burrow of 8R did not impress them, but now it's already 22R deep. I would like to relax again and get more health. And relax again and get more health. And relax again and get more health. And relax again and get more health. Now I got some health, baby. Alright, so I need to gain some respect, but first I need to have a snack. Uh... 
I just there you begin munching it. I vomited and then okay, yeah. So I'm gonna go fight other ones. I'm gonna fight a strong opponent and I beat them. I'm going to fight and I'm gonna uh no wait. Better return to the burrow. I'm going to have a snack. I'm gonna eat next to the burrow. Dang it! I like can't get anywhere because like Every time I like gain weight or like lose weight, like I I constantly have to like fix the goddamn burrow. Oh man. Other people just don't respect me like they should. Uh I need to have a snack. I'm going to the wonderful meadow. Uh, you arrived in the wonderful meadow in the middle of the village. You were amazed to see there was nobody there. You're definitely lucky. I gained a lot of weight, but I lost respect. Uh, <laughs> this is a problem. I just can't seem to hold it together. I'm going to go fight other Parvishes, and I'm going to fight a strong opponent. Um, and then I'm going to fight a strong opponent. Get some respect. With a weight of 61 HG, uh, I'm going to have a snack. I'm going to go to the Wonderful Meadow. Uh, your level of respect is 45%. You still had to fight a place. During the fight, you lost 7% of health, one 3% respect, gained 7 HG, and the burrow crumbled by 3. I'm going to have another snack. I'm going to go to the Wonderful Meadow. Uh, I'm very lucky. There's nobody there. Okay. I'm, like, big now. I am, like, 73 HG. Uh, I have 45% respect. I'm going to go fight Parvishes. Uh, I can afford to attack a cool Parvish, and I attacked one of the strongest ones, uh, and I have gained a lot of respect. So I have 55% respect now. I'm not going to attack that Parvish. Uh, people, are, people are amazed. And I now weigh 69%. Oh! Yeah, you're coming in with the text. This is the text-based adventure part of the game. <laughs> I've been barfing left and right, and I sure have a lot of scalps. All right, it's time to fight the other Parvishes. I'm going to teach them a lesson here. I need some respect. No, wait. No, I need to eat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go have a snack in the wonderful meadow. Oh, everybody's eating. I'm going to have another snack. I'm going to eat grass next to the burrow. Oh, my burrow is really low. My burrow is not well, not very deep. I need more burrow power. Um, let's see. If I dig the burrow... Oh, my thing is, is like, I have the respect. It's a space hand... <laughs> <laughs> you need to gain weight to be respected. <laughs> the only way that as a space hamster you will win in class warfare is by getting big. I weigh 73 HG, so I'm going to... Uh, and I have so much respect. I'm going to have uh, grass in the wonderful meadow. Let's see... There is nobody there. I want to fight for, like, strength. I weigh so much. I can, like, take everybody out. I'm going to dig full out in the burrow. Um, I lost some weight. So let's have a, let's have a relaxing day here. Um, and then let's uh, have a snack. I'm going to eat grass next to the burrow. It was not very tasty, but it, it did the job. And now I'm going to go fight. Um, you've entered the square for ritual fights and begin hitting your chest with your paws to become more aggressive. Uh, you notice several other parvishes doing the same in the square. I'm going to fight a strong opponent. Uh, I weigh 77, so I can attack pretty much anybody. Uh, and I am going to... Let's see, the fight was magnificent, and none of the opponents achieved significant advantage. During the fight, you lost 4% of health, 4 HG of weight. Your respect for your... Uh, your respect for you increased by 8%. During the fight, you... Your burrow crumbled by 1. Okay. Your considerable level of respect is good for an experienced Parvish, uh... Let's see, you realized it would, uh, that when you notice that others are afraid to approach you, they only dare 
throw a stone at you sometimes and run away. That's what happened this time. Cowardly Parvish threw a stone at you and fled. You did not follow him to express such a nuisance does not bother you. Such coolness impressed the other patch marshes a great deal. Wow. He's so cool. It doesn't even matter if people throw rocks at him. <laughs> I'm going to relax. Someone stole a scalp. No, I need those. Uh, I'm going to relax again to get more health. Somebody stole a scalp. I'm going to relax again. I lost some respect, though. Uh, respect is essential not only for intelligent creatures, but also for parvishes. Looking up, you studied irregularities in the cave surface. Or, let's see, six eyes. You can see in the dark. You wish you could be lie like that forever. Uh, so sad the burrow is crumbling and one can't gain respect like that. It's time to dig the burrow. Dig full out. Uh, stone crushed me and I lost health. I would like to dig the burrow and I will dig full out. It uh, The work took some health and weight. I'm losing respect. Okay. Oh, but wait, is it transgender day of visibility? How interesting, because the reason that I'm doing this is, uh, oh wait, no, you already added it in the chat. <laughs> the only way to change your gender is to gain the respect of the space hamsters who will force your gender to be changed. All right, have a snack. I'm going to go to the wonderful meadow. The 48% level of respect for you is not enough uh, to grass at the meadow of the village. Anyway, when you arrived at the meadow, there was no cool parvishes there. You took the chance. A cool parvish rolled up on me and attacked me. I barely stayed alive, and I lost respect. Uh, during the run, I lost two. Wow, that sucks. That was that was just really bad for me. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's why I'm doing this. I totally timed this on, on purpose. This is absolutely why I did this. Uh, the burrow's okay, my weight's okay, my health isn't. Relax. I have to go fight, and I'm going to fight with a strong opponent. And then I'm going to go fight, and I'm going to fight with a strong opponent. Yeah, now I'm tough. I would like to have a snack in the wonderful meadow. I'm winning respect, uh, but everybody's fighting me. My weight of 67 is good for fighting, but I need to eat, have a snack next to the burrow. Let's see. Why going far away when your rate is already 71, H uh, 71 HG? You lie down right next to your burrow and begin munching grass. <laughs> Other par parch varshes saw how uh, fat and lazy you were and were filled with contempt. <laughs> Finally, one of them could not stand it any longer and threw a stone at you. You decided to stop your meal and hid in the burrow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, I gotta dig the burrow. I'm gonna dig slowly and carefully to save strength. It's nice to be resected by 56% of parch parches. You dug the burrow for the whole day and nobody dared disturb you. However, then you felt very tired. On the other hand, you accomplished a great deal of work. Uh, and now I have to relax again to get health. Um, and then I gotta relax again to get health. And then I gotta relax again to get health. And now nobody respects me. <laughs> I'm going to full, full out digging. My weight is 69 again. All right, so that's no good. I need more respect, but I also need to eat. And so I guess I'll go to the wonderful meadow. And now there's no food. Everyone's like fat shaming me. This is a terrible, terrible like place to live. <laughs> eat grass next to the burrow. Uh, and then I guess I'll eat grass next to the burrow. I'm like really heavy. Like I'm I'm a heavy I'm a hefty boy. Uh, let's see, going far away from the burrow when you're already so big. People just be fat shaming. Fine, you know what? I'm gonna have a snack in the wonderful meadow. Uh, I lost a ton of health. 
but people will say it's a very respectable part, which only 40% have respect for you. Uh, many Parch Varches do not like that such an unvalued Parch Varch came to the best meadow in the village. What is the point? They're like, you fat, lazy, dumbass. How dare you, like, eat in front of your burrow? And then you're like, don't eat in the village. Just die already. It's awful. <laughs> They did, let's see, and they attacked you. They did not have much luck. You weigh 81 HG, and it was not easy to beat you. After a small fight, you kicked about all of your opponents and cleaned the place for you not, uh, for you on the meadow. Nobody dared disturb you anymore, and you could finally have enough good of good grass. The fight took 11% health. Due to this fight, you only gained 4 HG, but you also ensured respect among 2% more parch parches. The burrow crumbled uh, and became shallower by 2 AR. I... I am so big that I think I can just beat almost anybody. So I'm going to get some respect. Let's see, you attack one of the village's strongest parch marches and had nothing to be afraid of with a weight of 85 HG. It is they who should be afraid of you. <laughs> oh no, it is you that it's you that they should be afraid of. And this fight was the best proof. After a little resistance, the cool parch marsh suddenly turned away and fled with a disgraceful shriek. You had no chance to catch up since he was much faster. <laughs> Instead, you jumped around the battlefield with a victorious howl and hit your chest with the paws. Other parch marshes were amazed with your coolness. I lost some health and I lost some weight. Uh, <laughs> but people are like, holy shit, that guy's so fat, he can win every fight. Uh, I'm pretty sure what is it I need I need 100 HG 50 AR burrow and 50% respect I'm gonna go fight a strong opponent uh, but I am so respected now <laughs> eat fight eat fight eat fight <laughs> it's time to have a snack in the wonderful meadow <laughs> With your weight of only 81 HG, and you are respected of 66% of other Parch Marshes, you have nothing to fear. You came to the meadow and occupied the best place. Other Parch Marshes watched you munching fresh grass and envied you. Wow, this game really does have a lot to say about class, because, like, once you get into this... Once you get enough weight, you basically become unstoppable, because if you lose respect, you just, like, fight some bitches and then, like, win. <laughs> it's just... Oh... My burrow sucks, but I'm so big. I'm going to pass by, because I'm not going to fall for this again. I gained respect. I'm so cool, I don't need to kill helpless people on the side of the road. I would like to have a snack and eat grass in the wonderful meadow. Nope, there's no grass to eat, because I ate it all. I'm going to have another snack and eat grass next to the burrow. Now I'm so heavy. <laughs> Why go far away when I have 93 HG weight? Unbeatable, good, good. All right, I'm gonna go fight again. I'm gonna fight a strong opponent. Uh, I've increased respect massively, so this should be, this should work. I have nothing to be afraid of with a weight of 90 HG, and I just destroy them. Dig the burrow, dig full out. Dig the burrow, dig full out, baby. All right, now it's time to relax and get health back. What can be better than gaining weight than a good siesta, especially when your weight is already 95 HG? You cuddled and snored, not worrying about the consequences of this way of life. Oh, man, this is great. Everyone respects me. I'm really fat. I have a deep burrow. I'm relatively healthy. All right, my respect is decreasing, but my health is recovering. Time to dig the burrow. Dig full out. Dig the burrow, keep digging. Man, it's like I can spend a lot of time digging because I have so much built up that they can't stop me. So let's see, dig the burrow. I'm going to continue digging full out. I'm losing respect. But I have a very deep burrow. It's not realistic, but also like, I mean, they're animals. They're basically hamsters, right? So it's kind of like, well, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I am in this game. I am human, but they've turned me into a hamster to like help someone get a sex change. What can I say? Uh, I need to go fight more because I don't have a nearly enough respect. There we go. There's some respect. 65% respect. And now I have to eat more because uh, I don't weigh enough. There's nobody in the burrow, but I'm hungry. Fine, I'll eat next to the burrow. People are like... Let's see, you got to the burrow and saw a nice place for dinner of watery and creepy grass to the right. It definitely looked creepy, but tasted all right. You were lucky, but it looks like you began to lose reason and senses of a civilized humanoid. With your three eyes, you looked at your meal while the other three scanned the setting. You wish you had six eyes in reality. You gained seven HG of weight. Uh, okay, so my burrow is crumbling, but that's okay because I think if I eat one more time, I win. Go to the wonderful meadow. Holy crap, am I fat? I won. I owe in the dust by your door. Dingus Khan. <laughs> you cannot speak. Nobody can take the take the right to write. Long live free media, you thought. And it does not even matter uh does not even matter that the wind or the other parvishes will erase the inscription in a matter of minutes. You have announced your protest to the whole world. Maybe it's time to do something useful. Wow. So I I did it. I won. And then they just pulled me out. You made it with a weight of 111 HG, a burrow of 58 AR deep, and 56% of respect. It was more than enough to win. The lights died and the Parvish village vanished. You find yourself in an armchair in your regular body. It seems like you can even talk again. There is no druid uh, behind you anymore, but in front of you, a uh, dazed uh, Yashka Bwarakrat uh, stood smiling. It is unbelievable, Dingus Khan, he mumbled. You can hardly imagine how unbelievable it is. With a glance at the calendar watch behind the failing you were amazed to find out it was still 18th february 3308 only a couple of hours had passed since your last conversation it feels like you'd lived an entire life yeah all right uh well now it's time to say uh something that you want now it's time to say everything you want to say uh to this failing why didn't you warn me that it wouldn't be able to stop uh speak wow okay i just what the hell Let's see. What the hell? Black knock mew. All right, let's do that. It is amazing, Dingus Khan. Yashka bureaucrat explained, <laughs> paying no attention to your desperate efforts to speak. You're the first to pass this ritual during the 10 years. We introduced this ritual many years ago, many year ago, to stop uncontrolled changes of sex. That led to many, uh, led to a legal mayhem. And after a couple of thousands of palings died in the Parvash village, exchanges of sex be almost stopped. Now you can't attract a paling to this village, even for a million. Only non-palings like you can take the bait. And only a few can obtain the authorization for change of sex for their customers. Well, ta uh, taking into account the circumstances, we will deliver the authorization to Mr. President of Planet Yokang. Don't bother with that. It looks like the ability to speak has returned to you completely. How come? They told me thousands of palings pass this ritual every year. As far as I know, uh, on planet uh, Yokang, they said thousands of palings wish to pass the ritual every year. I'd rather say that millions want to do that, but none of them dares. They are all afraid. Uh, then why are the rituals for? Why not just prohibiting change of sex instead? Nothing should be prohibited. Any prohibition is foreign to the palings, lovers of liberty. Oh my god, it's the libertarians! <laughs> As proving oneself, uh, as to proving oneself worthy, they are all for it. That's why we introduced the ritual. The result is the same. No paling has passed the Parvash village since it was created 300 years ago. 300 years only, but they said it was the oldest paling tradition. <laughs> given that uh, paling law tradition is hardly, uh, given that a paling law tradition is is hardly to survive for more than 100 years, the change of sex authorization is indeed our most ancient tradition. Wow. <laughs> what about the tale of the Phalanx taking Parvish Mass and fighting each other in the past? Yes, well, that's what we did in the beginning. Thousand candidates in Parvash Mass fought to the death until only one remained and received the precious authorization. Uh, after we stole the rich, uh, after we stole the virtual reality technology from the humans, the procedure became more cultured and civilized. Indeed, why giving an authorization to evil a single candidate when you could kill them all? But if the exercise cannot be completed, how could I win? 
And this is a part, I remember this from being a kid, and this is great, I just love it. <laughs> because you are not failing, your, phys your psychology is different, it enabled you to avoid our nice tramps. For instance, it never occurred to you to swim in a beautiful swamp near the village after digging a burrow or a fight. About 40% of failing candidates drown there. Or take, for example, uh, the Tiansinuk bush over on the hill. Oh, so many failings tried to extract its root to make a poison and kill the chief. All of them died in the paws of Heldas <laughs> that dwells on the hill. You did not even notice the bush. And the burrow, tell me, what kind of... Uh, I'm not going to say it. Could dig the burrow at an angle. <laughs> Didn't you notice it was crumbling all the time? <laughs> <laughs> I like it's like, oh, you just dug it at an angle. <laughs> Didn't you notice it was crumbling all the time? Any sane paling digs straight down, and at a depth of 49 AR, arrives at a specially arranged lake of boiling lava. Never mind. Soon uh, we age, I assume, are going to st uh, steal from micro hard company i assume that's microsoft a universal patch that will automatically adjust any program's engine according to its user's race and this back door for getting an authorization will be closed you will return to the spaceport uh in a rather jolly mood it's great to be a it's great to be something but paling. Most delightful is that on planet Yuka, uh, on the planet Yokhang, a truly de deserved prize of 2100 credits of ratio sweet so now i i'm getting the money I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get mad monies, and it's gonna be wonderful. Uh, but now, of course, I don't have that money, which is annoying. Um, and unfortunately, I I'm gonna try and get there, but we'll see. Is it so far away? Have I turned in my? I haven't turned in my nodes yet. So yeah, that's one of the things I really like about this game is they're like, oh yeah, it's also a uh, adventure game. Just every genre, just cram the genres together. Just just shove them in there. Just 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 pack them, smoosh them together. Do 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 do. I would like to turn in some nodes. There's a party of nodes for you. I have 177 nodes. What do we got? I can't afford any of these nodes. Do not trade. Do not pass go. Do not collect. All right. I need to get to Yo Yo Kang, which is in Evron. Uh-oh. Markab's under attack. Oof. I want my money, though. I need my money. And I need the XP. Wait. Can I convince this ranger to join me? Nope. I need, I need to get a subordinate ranger. Will you join me, subordinate? I would like to talk to you. Join me under my command. I am too much of a leader myself. Oh. Well, they aren't being confined to one genre, but I also think the creators of the game were just like, oh yeah, like, let's just do it. Maximize the genres. <laughs> Every genre. I can't choose. All right. Uh, I have leadership skill, but I'm not using it. And I need... Where is my space station? System Pollux. Oh, it's like way down there. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna need some fuel. I'm gonna need to fix my black gut so I don't have to pay for fuel. Maybe if I didn't engage in random acts of piracy, there wouldn't be a problem. That's a diplomat. Hey, dude, how you doing? Enemies all around. Uh oh. Do 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 do. I'm gonna bring them the sex chains authorization. They're gonna be so happy. All right. Just uh, maximize this. All right, and now uh, I believe it is Yo Kang. And then I'm gonna go back down to Pollux and collect all my stuff. Oh, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna have money for days. Oh, I guess I don't get to pick those up. Never mind. Maybe I should have agreed to do it faster. I just didn't think I'd get there fast enough. I don't know. 
At any rate, let's see here. Let's go to Yokang. Wait, whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. Fossis Das. That's some minerals. Everybody's like attacking that pirate. Join me under my command. I have some leadership skill and some trade skill. Will I get big XPs? Man, everybody's just like wailing on that one guy. Huh. Well, anyway. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this? That's some kind of container. Okay. Please tell me I get a thing that will like enhance my ship somehow. There we go. Let's talk. Excellent, Dingus Khan. A courier from the planet of Sukeo has already brought the change of sex authorization. Uh, you should have seen his, seen his mug. You're the first ever to obtain such an authorization for the last 10 years. Except 2100 credits is a personal gift from our honored Mr. President. I like how they just immediately change pronouns. It's great. Uh, in particular, uh, case money... In this particular case, money not be considered adequate for what, for what you did, uh, Genghis Khan. We'd like to give you a special gift, Swallower. Swallower's an adjustable mechanical energy absorbent. Uh, best used when connected to hull protection generator. Consumes hits from energy weapons, thus decreasing damage to zero. Ooh, okay. So what is it? Let me see it. Eh, it's heavy. And I can sell it for money. I'm going to repair everybody. And I'm going to sell this. And then... Uh, I would love to repair this, but I just don't think that's happening. Uh, can I sell... Minerals sell cheap here, but I got a lot of them, so... Alright, so now I gotta go to Pollux. Let's do it. Let's get to Pollux. I'm gonna pick up my stuff. I know. Now I'm just gonna... They're like, thanks! Thanks, uh, Mi <laughs> look into the look into the light, ma'am. Thanks, sir. <laughs> just immediately switch. I like the fact that the palings could just naturally change their uh, sex. Like, just that's just a thing that they could do, and it causes all kinds of confusions in their legal system. Okay, so System Pollux Planet Dory. Did they break down? Wow, this is just really big. I, how long have they been on there? How big is this planet? No, they're both going. I really need, I need the water. I need the water probe is what I need. Do, 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 do. Do do do. Nothing. Dang. That's sad. Yeah, leave him. That's really sad. Uh, boo 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 boo. Uh, let's go here. I'm gonna see if they've got something I can use. I really want to hold on to Black Guck even though it's broken because it's going to be really useful late game. Uh, do you have any special quests? No. Can I like get a hull improvement? Ooh, I could buy this hull. 250. No, it's smaller than my current hull. Dang it. Any gun improvements? Oh, hell yeah, baby. Give me the missile thrower. I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna put in the missile thrower. Oh yeah. I just gotta I just gotta have this missile thrower and I'll tell you why. The missile thrower is uh so long range and so useful as an early game weapon that like I probably would not be able to like participate in a system invasion without it. Especially at this point of the game. So let's go to Tauron. Oh, hold up. 
Do I not get those? I need those minerals. Alright, we're gonna do this. We're gonna help defend the system. What's going on? Forces won the next battle. Forces won the next battle. Wait. Is the system I'm heading to gone? No, Markab! I'm not gonna be able to get over there. That's the problem. This is not good. This is not good at all. Let's go to this industrial anarchy planet really quick and sell minerals for for uh, for stuff. Man, gotta love the music in this game though. It's pretty good. Do 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 do. do. All right, here we go. Uh, first of all, gotta sell, 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 sell. To buy fuel. 28 credits to refuel. We have to go to a scientific base to repair that. Repair all of that. That's what you got a mission. Nope. Okay. Later than. Alright. So that one system's gone. It's just straight up toast. But somebody's attacking it, so I'm gonna help them. They might be dead though. That would be really sad if they were just toast. Just show up and everybody's dead. It's like, oh no. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> Which game has the best music overall? That is a really good question. And I I am not sure, honestly. I like the music in this game. Um, I don't know. You know, I, I haven't thought too hard about that. Oh, it's just the one guy. I can take this guy out. Hit him with the missiles. I'm trying to think. What game do I think has the best music overall? You know, honestly, I think Machinarium probably does. Or at least I really like Sam Rost in Machinarium. Oh, wow, there's many people coming my way. This is not good. Yeah, I'm going to go with Machinarium. I really, I really think Machinarium has good music. I think I'm okay. We'll find out. I'm faster than most of these people. But yeah, Machinarium has some great music. Ooh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna go there. Ooh, very bad. Ooh, that's a missile. That's a torpedo. Ah! Death. <laughs> I, a Baton Kados, I, is that a game or is that a person? Or is it both? Is the person a game and the game is a person? I don't know. Uh, let's see. So that did not work. Markab is a dangerous place of great danger. Let's go to Accra. I want to get into the uh, the space. My industrial lasers are very lightweight, but they don't do a lot of damage. I'm probably going to have to start looking into getting high damage, high yield like warheads and stuff um, can I get to Arkra no let's go to the business center and refuel <laughs> he screams because he does not know <laughs> I remember that meme I love that meme 
Is he is he made of house or is the house made of him? He screams for he does not know. I think it's a pirate tailing me here. Alright. I would like to sell some minerals. Thank you. I would like to repair this, and then I would like to... Oh, repair is not required. What? I'd like to exit. Here we go. Now it's time to go to Accra. I'm going to go in that black hole. I'm going to do it. This will be the last thing I do today, and it's going to be going into that black hole. <laughs> da, 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 da. All right. Here we go. Where is the black hole? I don't have a good scanner, so I actually have to physically like look around. Where is it? Is it still there? I guess it's the first one. Yeah, it's still there. Where is it? Okay, I'm just gonna systematically move along. Where are you, black hole? Oh, there it is. Okay, we're gonna go here. So for two weeks, we travel towards the black hole, wherein lives the monsters. Just hopefully it doesn't dump me in a dominator system. That's really gonna suck. All right, so now I'm gonna do the smart money. I'm gonna save before going in here. And then I'm just gonna go whoop. Down, down, down to the bottom of the space. Down, down, down to the bottom of the space. I really need some health. I don't know. Oh, I don't want to hit that. Do you want to hit that? I got the health. Let's see what we got here. Oh! Stay away! Is that minerals? I would like some minerals. Can I can I grab them? Yeah. Stupid Keller. Mine. I need the health. Ow. I need health. I need health. Oh my god. That's one. And there's only one left. I feel like, uh... Oh my god! Give me health. Oh, thank god. Ooh, that was close. Dead. All right. Is anybody left? Press space or escape to finish. Okay. I have emerged. Oh my God. I, I lived and what did I pick up in space? Hyper generator. Oh my God. It's a, it's a hyper parsec thing. Oh my, I don't have the, I don't have the fuel capacity to use this thing. That's great. This increases my jump distance by like a billion million miles. What system am I in? I'm in Arion, so let's go to Pollux. Oh my god, that's incredible. I didn't think that would happen, to be honest. I didn't, I didn't think that was going to be a thing available to me. Let's pick this guy up. 
Uh, trash and scanner. Hey guys, I blew up two Dominator ships. Does that count for something? Does it count as Dominator ships when I blow them up in deep space? Like in the in the wormhole? Yeah, so now I, I have a maximum jump distance of my entire fuel reserve, which is not a lot. <laughs> sell these. Uh, I guess sell this. I don't have any use for this. Well... Yeah, it's too big. Can I buy equipment? I would like to buy equipment. These are all really big. I don't have money for that. I don't have money for that. I don't got money. I just don't got money. I don't got enough money. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and call it here because I got stuff to do. But uh, thanks for watching. And as always, uh, remember... Don't don't let the man keep you down. Uh, don't go into wormholes the, if you're a nerd. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, happy Trans Day of Visibility and uh, get that sex change operation, even if the government bans it. <laughs> All right. Oh wow, that was that was some top notch and uh, surprisingly diverse content for me, Turbo Selbor. If you liked that, you should uh, subscribe and comment. And uh, yeah, just remember, gaming's for everybody, not just for like your older brother who has like a neck beard. <laughs>